Chris Stone from Neatly Design, a professional organizer. And we are <laughs> kind of tackling some key areas in the home where clutter happens. I mean, clutter happens. It happens. It, it, it's, it can take over. And one of the biggest offenders probably are candles. I love candles. I like all different types of candles, smelly candles, you name it. And I have a hard time throwing out candles. And most people do, and that's when candles become clutter. Take the time to go through once a year, every six months, your candles, the ones that look way past their date, um, get rid of them and you can buy yourself a new one if you need it. If you don't, use the ones you have. Don't go buy new until you use the ones you have. Okay, so what we've done is we've corralled all the candles together in one area and I suggest doing that because that way they're not roaming all over the house and you can really go through every single one, including what the votives, matches, anything candle related. Now we're going to go through them and get rid of the ones <laughs> that either have seen a, seen a better day, um, no longer like, don't go with the color of this house versus your old house, whatever the right. excuse is. I love my Harvest um, candle holders. I think they're great. I do well, too. Chris came up and, and said, get rid of these candles. They, they just, they take away from the statement that these are. We're getting rid of okay, those. Okay, so we're getting rid of these. We're getting rid of those. Blown out candle side. Get rid of that. Come Any on. candles that you have that this has happened to, don't bother saving them because you really won't ever use them again and they're just taking up valuable space. And if you think you're going to use them again, here's the thing. Keep this in mind. They're ugly. <laughs> they're ugly when they get to this point. I'm pulling out all the little half used from parties with tapers. I haven't used these. I, I could use them, but I haven't used them since when? These might have been in here for about a year. You think you may use them, keep them for a few months, and if you haven't used them, donate them. Um, a single one. If you just have one single one left, get rid of it. Get rid of it. If you have a bunch of little ones of something, put them all in a Ziploc bag so that they are all together and you know where to find them when you need them. Um, I have a whole bunch of, of these, these candles that are um, the electronic candles. So we keep all those We're together. Keep those together in, in one spot. Yes. Some past crafts from Simple Solutions Diva, but they're going away. Bye. They're going away. I think I might use them again, but I don't know. Okay, so I would do the same thing that you're doing with these tapers. If you're unsure, keep them for a few months. If you don't use them, get rid of them. I, uh, I think it. that tray needs to be pared down a little bit. I have to keep that one. Okay. I love that one. This one's not going anywhere because it's for my holidays. You see what, what we do with each video. She she reenacts the scenes of the crime of where she is. Yes, it's, I'm not getting rid of it because I've worked really hard to find that and I'm gonna keep it. I don't wanna get rid of it. There you go. Yay, yay. It's a holiday little little pumpkin candle. So. Oh, I thought we were getting rid of it. No, we're not gonna get rid of it. I think we're doing great here. Yes, Thank once you. again. I think this is a good, good start. So once again, we, we're clearing out some of the clutter. Yes. So thank you for joining us and we'll see you next week.